What's up everybody, it's Sergeant M coming back at you with another airbrush review. This time we're checking out the Vega 2000. This is uh, from Thayer and Chandler, Badger Airbrush Company. Not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, really talking too much about it. I'm going to get into a uh, breakdown and reassembly. Uh, I'll show you guys the specs, then we'll head over to the uh, easel and I'll show you some uh, dots and lines. Uh, how thick, how thin, and we'll wrap everything up. So here we go. Check out the specs and then I'll show you guys how to break everything down. Alright, so there we go. We got the specs and we'll get right into it, breaking this thing down. Super easy, super simple. Again, with uh, Pretty much every airbrush out there, everything is threaded. You don't need any tools, any pliers, any wrenches, nothing like that to get this thing apart, put it back together. First things first, click disconnect. Get that off, set that guy on the side. The back of the airbrush, just twist everything. Head of the airbrush, nozzle. The needle. Don't need to force anything out here, guys. I guess we'll go ahead and take break this all the way down. We'll take the trigger assembly out of everything. Really, not that much to it. Real easy to break down. Super easy to clean and reassembly is uh, just uh, just the opposite of putting everything back together. There we got give you a little close up. The camera is not going to focus. There we go. There's a close up of the nozzle. You can see this is a 0.5 millimeter, so it's got a very large nozzle on it. to let's say a uh, velocity which has a 0.21 or um, a 150 which has a 0.35 so, but as I'm going to show you guys here really soon you can still pull really nice tight lines with this thing and as you've heard me say before it all comes down to trigger control Disconnect back on. And there we go, the airbrush is back together. We're ready to go spray. I'm gonna go fill up the compressor. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so there we go. We're gonna be shooting on a, uh, uh, just a paper towel, just a plain paper towel you get at any uh, supermarket, dollar store, whatever. And got everything loaded up. Got some Spectre Techs. This is their, um, uh, cranberry <clears throat> paint. I'll be shooting at about 30, uh, 30, 35 psi. And this is uh, this hose is also from Badger. Spectratex paint that's by Badger. And bottle adapter. Since this is a siphon feed airbrush, you will need some type of bottle adapter or some type of bottle to go underneath it. Uh, Badger does make these uh, bottle adapters. They work very well. They uh, fit the. Uh, Spectratex bottles, they fit uh, Wicked, they fit Auto Air, so they work great. 
These are a little long though if you have uh, two ounce bottles. You are going to have to cut a little bit off the bottom here, but uh, they do fit a four ounce bottle just great. So let's get into it. I'm going to shoot some dots, uh, big dots, little dots, lines, squiggly lines, and that should uh, wrap up the quick demo of the Vega. And then uh, I'll give you uh, my final thoughts and pros and cons on it, what I think of it. There we go. Couple dots, couple lines. Not gonna go hog wild here, spending all kinds of time. Uh, just trying to give you guys a quick demo on how this thing springs. It's it's a really nice gun. So let's get out here, do some wide dots. Couple little dots. Hey, that thing's got a 0.5 nozzle on it. Uh, you're not going to be able to pull really tight lines with it. Um, this is where your trigger control comes in handy, guys. It's not showing up for you guys real well, but I will get you a still picture of that. You can pull some really, really tight lines with this airbrush. It's all in trigger control. Of course, you know, you got your wide dots, you got your wide patterns, you got your wider lines. But you can also go in real tight, and if you control that trigger real well, you can get, uh, get in real tight and get some really fine dots, really fine lines. And just to mention also, this Spectratex is ready to spray out of the bottle. So I didn't have to reduce that down or anything. It's, I took the, took the bottle cap off, put the uh, uh, bottle adapter on, and we're in business. We're ready to go. You get a little bit of tip dry with the Spectratex, but overall it is good paint. It is compatible with uh, Tooth K Urethane Clears. It is not, however, <clears throat> it is not um, color fast, so uh, you know you don't want to use it on anything that's going to be out in the sun for any extended periods of time because it will fade. Oh, there's a quick demo of the Vega 2000 sprays. And let me get you guys a still of those really, really tight lines. cons on the Vega 2000 from Badger Airbrush Company, Thayer and Chandler. Uh, it's a great brush guys. Um, 0.5 needle on it uh, so you're going to get uh, uh, some really wide lines. You're going to be able to cover a lot of area very quickly. Uh, the airbrush in your hand does feel very comfortable. Trigger action on it is very very smooth and uh, it will not break the bank. So. Uh, you know, you're not going to have to spend your life savings if you want to pick one of these guys up. Uh, as with all Badger airbrushes, these the Vega 2000 is uh, pretty much guaranteed for life. 
uh, parts are inexpensive, readily available. Um, trying to think of some cons, I, I don't want to come off as being biased as all, you know, Badger's the greatest thing in the world, you know, because everybody does have their flaws, of course we do expect that, but uh, I guess for me, since I prefer spraying with a gravity feed airbrush, I guess for me the only con I could really pick out would, that it would, would be that it's a, uh, a siphon feed airbrush, but that, that's not necessarily a bad thing though, so uh, take you know take that for what it is uh, the Vega 2000 looks great handles great performs great I give it a thumbs up until next time guys I am Sergeant M I'll catch you guys later